Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82. Please visit our website at www.techstudio82.com. Before watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Sigwin software on our Windows operating system. You will get the Linux feeling environment on Windows operating system. By the way, what is Sigwin? Sigwin is a Linux look and feel environment for a Windows based operating system. In simple words, by using Sigwin software, you get the Linux feeling environment on Windows operating system. The main advantage of Sigwin software is it helps us in providing unique shell environment on Windows operating system, allowing access to a wide range of utilities from Unix Linux world. In fact, there is no need to install a full fledged Linux operating system or we don't need to set up a virtual machine. Sigwin accommodates the requirement of Linux Unix environment on Windows operating system. Hope you got an idea on what is Sigwin and why we are using Sigwin software. Okay then, let's download and install the Sigwin software on Windows operating system. Before forwarding, as a prerequisite, you should have an internet connection with good bandwidth for downloading the software files. So let's get started with the first step that is download. Open Google in any web browser and search with the keyword Sigwin download, hit enter. On the screen, you can see Google search results. The first link sigwin.com. This is the official website. From here, we are going to download. Just click on this first link. Click on this. It will direct to the sigwin.com, which is the official website. This is a Sigwin. Get that Linux feeling on Windows. Scroll down. Installing Sigwin, you can see install Sigwin by running setup.exe file. This is a setup.exe file, a very small tiny file. Just click on this. It will get downloaded within seconds. Just click on this. See here, here you can see the setup.exe file. Click on this. Show in folder. You are in the downloads folder. This is a setup file, which is 1.30 MB, a very tiny file. Now we have downloaded the setup file. Let's move on to the installation part. Click on the setup file, right click and run as administrator. It's always recommended whenever you are installing any software on your PC, it's better to run as administrator. Click on run as administrator. On the screen, you can see a setup wizard, Sigwin net release setup program. Click on next. You need to choose installation type, choose a download source, install from internet. Click on next. You need to select the root directory for installation. Let it be the default one. If you want to change, you can click on browse. You can change wherever you want, either C drive, D drive. Currently, I want the default root directory and install for all users. Just click on next. This is the select local package directory. This is the default one. Let it be the default one. Just click on next. You need to select the internet connection. Let it be the default one. Just click on next. You can see the progress. Choose a download site. You need to choose a download site. These are all the download sites which are available. You can click any of this. I'm going to click on one of this. Just click on next. You can see the progress. It is downloading. On the screen, you can see select packages to install. By default, these are all the categories. If you want to default the full one, just you can click on full. You can see lot of packages over here. Either you can skip some of them. You can see the categories over here. These are all the default ones. I'm, I'm going with the default one only category. Okay. This is the default one. Click on next. Now you can review and confirm the changes. Sigwin is going to install all these packages. Okay. Just click on next. You can see progress in percentage. First, it is downloading all the packages, all packages one by one. You can see the Sigwin setup installation status and create icons. By default, it will create an icon on desktop. If you want to add icon to start menu, you can click that. So installation status, you can see installation complete. Just click on finish. On the screen, you can see the Sigwin desktop icon. Now let's test the Sigwin software by opening the Sigwin terminal and let's execute some of the Linux Unix commands on Sigwin terminal. Now let's open this Sigwin terminal. Double click on this. 
it will open the terminal since this is the first time it copied skeleton files this is the bash file bash profile and the profile file and this is the default directory my default directory you can also change the settings to the top of this menu right click click on options you can change the colors all these things but right now i'm going to just change the text this font just select the font you can select the fonts right now i'm just changing the size of this making as 16 first apply and later click on ok save now let's execute some linux unix commands let's execute pwd present working directory this is my home directory let me show you the same in c drive open the windows folder c drive this sigwin folder home folder double click on this folder this is my home directory okay let's go back to the sigwin terminal let's create a directory or folder by unix command mkdir folder name tech underscore folder i am giving that hit tech underscore folder has been created successfully let me check the same in the c drive in my home directory tech underscore folder has been created successfully here i am going to place one file emp file now i am going to open this file in sigwin terminal let's go back to the sigwin terminal before that let me check the present working directory by using cd command we can change the directory to tech underscore folder tech folder now pwd once again now you are in the home tech underscore folder now we have changed the directory to tech underscore folder let me check the list of files over there ls minus lrt this will give the list of files you can see only one file read write execute mode this is the owner name and you can see the file name now by using cat command we will open that file cat emp.txt emp.txt hit enter you can see the result of this command you can view the content of this file in this way we can make use of linux environment in the windows operating system by installing sigwin software in order to exit this sigwin terminal give the command as exit hit enter that's it we are out of the sigwin terminal so far we have seen how to download the sigwin software and how to install the sigwin software and also we executed some linux unix commands on the sigwin terminal that's it thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates please like and also share my videos with your friends and drop a comment your comments are highly valuable thank you